Hello everybody, welcome to Tokyo. This is Ginza, I'm walking through the alleys here looking at uh, uh, some places to change money which is going to be tomorrow's live stream. You're not going to want to miss that so make sure you subscribe. I am shocked when I saw the exchange rate this morning and it keeps getting weaker and weaker. The Japanese yen to the US dollar now at 154.36 and this was about 30 minutes ago so it's like getting weaker. And I know that the Bank of Japan is going to jump in here because the weaker the yen is, the more expensive products that are imported in Japan become for Japanese businesses. Of course, those with businesses in the United States are making a killing like Sony and, and uh, uh, Honda and a lot of other companies that have invested heavily in the North American market doing quite well. Uniqlo, for example, and which is why Japanese businesses are going to uh, the U.S. market more and more, which is a good thing. But for those that are not and have to depend on the international markets, this is a bad thing. And it's, it's quite worrying when I see this because I know a lot of small business owners that don't make U.S. dollars, they make yen. And their purchasing power to get the things that they need in order to run their businesses is getting harder and harder. Uh, in this episode, I wanted to t talk a little bit about the Japanese yen and the U.S. dollar. If you should change your money, the trajectory, where this is all going to go, and what this probably means to you visiting Japan. Um, yeah, you know, I... I, I came here in 1998, and a lot of you who've been watching this live, uh, th this channel, know that when I arrived here in Japan in '98, it was the 147, 148 yen to the dollar, and I hadn't seen that in 25 years. It gotten down to about 77 yen to the dollar, which means that uh, you would have been really poor coming to Japan. It was more than half of what it is now much stronger and now the yen is the weakest that it's ever been since 1991. Take a look at this. This is um, a chart, I, I saw this on, um, a, I think it was a, on Twitter, I think it's called X now. You can see here the line showing the chart from the bottom here, 1991 and today and it has not been this bad since then and you can see the peaks and the valleys of my life here in Japan starting around 1999 that peak after the 1999 one is when I got to Japan and you can see it going up and down. It was usually hovering around 120 or 100 before the, you know, that the, the sh be about four years ago when the big event that happened where we couldn't travel, I hate to say it, uh, it was about 107 to the dollar, 108 to the dollar and now it's just like gotten uh, like like to the sky and it happened around October of 2022 this is a little brief history of where we are today will it get worse probably all right I'm going to talk to you and I'm going to walk around this area of Ginza give you a, a, a view of the back alleys and streets this is Ginza Hat Chomei I'm not too far away from Shimbashi there's some nice cafes ramen shops and restaurants back here now you know gosh for me, I, I make yen for a lot of the stuff that I do, and it's not that, it, it worries me because when I go to the United States, I know that it, everything's going to be so much more expensive for Japanese travelers because, oh, what is it, Bangkok? It's, it was like a Thai restaurant. It's interesting. I got a lunch set. That's pretty cheap for Ginza. Wow. Bookmark that. So for, for Japanese that are traveling, in particular to Hawaii, you're seeing a lot of Japanese staying home or traveling domestically now because it's just too expensive. Which means that Japan has to turn to the foreign market and for tourism this is a big deal. Is it going to stay at 154, 155 to the dollar? The answer is no. No, it's not. And I expect the Bank of Japan to jump in. What they do is they usually intervene and buy some, buy the yen back or something. I don't know what they do, but it usually is about 20 or 30 billion dollars to help to drop it a few percentage points to turn the trajectory into it. But I, I think it's much, I don't think you can really do that. But they, what other choice do they have? It's like burning money basically to get the market to come down artificially. And it does do that a little bit and then it comes right back up. A lot of it has to do with the interest rates. Japan had negative interest rates. Imagine that. Everything that you put in the bank, you got 0.0001%. So you, if, if you were lucky, which was better than nothing because Japan had, was deflationary, prices were going down for decades. We had the lost decades. 
the uh, 1990s and, and the 2000s, and it's been relatively bad, but nothing really changed, though. Inflation didn't go up. Prices were the same. A bowl of ramen that cost 1,200 yen down the street here, or 900 yen or 1,200 yen, depending on the toppings, was still 900 and 1,200 yen 20 years later. But now we're starting to see inflation going up and we're starting to feel the pressure more and more and our purchasing power when we make yen is less and less. I don't think for a lot of people the average salary is like, what I would say like 320,000 yen, which is what now? $2,700, $2,600 per month? That's not a lot of money to do much of anything, especially travel abroad. You can buy a, a small 1K. You can't really live very well on this kind of income. But 25 years ago, this was not too bad. U.S. inflation has gone up and Japan was like this. So for travelers coming to Japan, there's never been a better time to come to Japan than right now. In fact, it's never been a better time to change your money than right now. I can't tell you that this is a good idea to change your money or not. I just, if I were you, I would do it because I don't think we're going to see 155. I don't think we're going to go to 200. I don't think we're going to go to 170. I don't think we're going to go to 160. I think that something's going to happen to intervene because then it's just, it's pro prohibitively expensive for Japanese to do stuff even though they're making dollars abroad. Some companies are winning big, some aren't. And, uh, you know, this is just a, the whole purpose of this episode is to kind of give you an idea of what, what the feeling is here in Japan. It's just too expensive to do stuff abroad. Everybody's staying domestic for travel, which means that travel within Japan, this has an impact on you. Of course, Japan is cheaper, but the demand for products is even, even higher now in Japan because domestically tourists, Japanese used to, to be amazing foreign tourists. They would be everywhere around the world traveling, but now with the weekend, most of the traffic is coming in and not going out. Of course, Japanese are still traveling, but you can see the numbers from the J Japan National Tourism Organization, which they publish this uh, um, monthly. It's all public data. You can see the trends going down and down, and that's, it's at the lowest level in decades for Japanese that are traveling to uh, abroad. And you can feel it if you walk around Waikiki. I don't think there were, even last year, there weren't a lot of Japanese walking around. Everybody I talked to in Hawaii said that travel from, from Japanese was really, really low. The hotels, mostly Americans and, and uh, even a fewer Chinese because of the lockdowns and whatnot. But you can feel it's having an impact and it's shifting the way that travel is here in Japan and around the world. Japanese aren't traveling abroad, but Americans are. Some Western countries don't have a, a strong currency as the U.S. dollar. Tomorrow, I'm going to be um, taking you inside of Tokyo Station. Just a little bit of a here's a little bit of a sneak peek. I, I wanted to look at the currency exchange options. A lot of people, in particular Brandy, who's now visiting from uh, um, Hawaii right now, asked me about this and and like where is the best place to change your money. If you have some ideas about this, uh, you can leave a comment below, and I'll add this into the live stream for tomorrow. Uh, but exchange, where to exchange your money and get the best exchange rates is something that uh, I think is, would be a really good episode to talk about. Um, but, you know, if I were you, if you want to go to your bank and change some cash into, US, into Japanese yen for a trip that's coming up in a couple of months, that might not be a bad idea. I think if, if you get anything above 145 to the dollar, you're, you're going to make out pretty good. But now that it's at 155 to the dollar just about, Look, a couple percentage points is not going to hurt that much if you're having a trip coming here in a couple of months. I expect it to get the yen to get stronger, but I don't know. The Bank of Japan is always a little weird. It's hard to figure out all of this stuff. Um, but I, I think after this live stream, you have kind of an idea of what the feeling is here in Japan. Um, everybody's got to raise prices. And there's a lot of uncertainty in the, in the sense that restaurants see all of these people with foreign uh, income coming in and, and competing with, it almost feels like there's two markets in a way. There's the tourists who have a currency that is super strong, and then there's the Japanese who have a currency and wages that haven't changed. And the feeling is that it's not quite fair, but there's not a lot that people can do about it. All you can do is try to get more tourists to come in and just and then spend because Japanese aren't spending as much either. 
Japan is a country where savings is used. Usually people don't get into credit card debt and pay buy before, or was it buy now, pay later kind of stuff? That's not a Japanese concept uh, right now. So unless the wages for people start to increase in Japan to match inflation or go above inflation, and the, and the Japanese yen gets a little bit stronger, I think if it's like 135 to the dollar, I think I could see Japanese travelers being able to afford to travel to Hawaii and other places again. The market's gonna be tougher for you in finding hotels. Golden Week's gonna be domestic. Golden Week's gonna be Japanese tourists all booking out the Shinkansen and it's gonna be harder and harder because there's less spaces, less hotel rooms. There's gonna be more strain on the domestic travel in Japan. So this exchange rate has a positive impact and a negative impact. Japan's cheaper, but it also means it's gonna drive up prices for things that tourists want because it's more expensive to get those ingredients, it's more expensive to get this, and the demand for products like hotel rooms is gonna be off the charts because not only are you competing against Japanese tourists, you're competing against your fellow foreign tourists. And there you go. I put that there because Uber on the side of a, of a Japanese taxi cab I'm, more, I'm curious to see what Uber's doing here in Japan. That's something that's really uh, uh, head scratching. So maybe I'll make an episode on that as well. Do you guys have any questions before I tune out? Uh, I just wanted to do a short live stream. Yesterday I went with Brandy to Tokyo Disney Sea, which is a lot of fun. I'm not allowed to, I'm not supposed to say that Brandy from Hawaii is here. I think her suitcase is full with bringing gifts back for everybody else. Thank you, Michael Sasano. I haven't gotten, um, Michael has a present for us. I haven't gotten that yet, but. Look at this little, little fire department in here in case there's something going on. You gotta, they're ready. I appreciate it. The, all the friends that I made in Hawaii when I went there last year, it feels like family and I, I yeah, sending back some love to our Hawaiian family. The back alleys of Ginza are always really interesting. You find stuff that you wouldn't find anywhere else. This side and the other side of Chuodori, which is the main avenue with all the brand shops, always walk through the alleys because they changed so much too over the years. A lot of businesses that you've never seen before have popped up giving new products and, and new ideas. And then it's interesting to see, and Michael is here. Yeah, I, I hope so. I, I know I will. Anything, anything is, is a surprise and you didn't have to do that. I appreciate it, Michael. Um, I walked by a shop in Ginza, which is m some of the most expensive properties in Japan, that is still a mom and pop shop that's selling rice. They, they get the rice from the countryside and package it and then they give it to, they distribute it from Ginza. It doesn't make, this, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Maybe something from 30 years ago, it, it made sense. Is that right there in the corner? Yeah, I think that's it right there in the corner. You find places like this, it's just, it, it's just distributing rice. And we're right near the inner, one of the most expensive intersections in the world. And they're, they've got a shop that distributes and, and packages rice. It, it's weird. It's only in, only in, only in Ginza. It's, it's pretty cool. I'd love, I'd love to know more about their history. There's a, there's a place up the street. Let me see if I can take you this way. I rode my bicycle by there. So here's, here's the, sorry for the, the quick movement. Here's the, here's the company that's, that's uh, distributing rice. See, there's a guy in there doing it. That's crazy. Now let me take you to a, a family business that looks like he's just doing bon, bonsai trees. And you can see I'm right off of Chuo Avenue, right up ahead. That's what I love about the, the alleys of uh, Ginza. You find these old shops that will never sell out. authentic feel to it right here and the pot the that's so cool it's a beautiful day kind of windy weather's been really nice you can see the flags blowing pretty hard leave me your comments below and if that's something that you'd like, if you guys would like to see more of, leave me a comment below and let me know about uh, um, 
like exchange rates and what's not. If you've exchanged money in Japan, where do you go to exchange your money? What is the, What are the best places to get the best rates? How, how is it different in your country? Let me know in the comments what country, where are you from? How do you change your money? Do you, what's the best way to you? Do you still use traveler's checks? I'm kind of curious to hear about that. Do you go to the ATM? Which banks are the best banks for, for this? Uh, I, did you have any issues or troubles with that? And tomorrow I'll show you, I went to Tokyo Station before this and I filmed a little bit inside there looking at that exchange uh, vending machine and some of the rates. And we'll talk about this tomorrow's live stream because I think it's going to be one that, you know, a lot of this information comes from you. And we have a Discord server, you might want to check it out, where we're also uh, conversing back and forth. And the information is always changing. This is something like, if you're watching this in playback, look at the date. Today is April 15th, 15th or 16th, 2024. So like the date of these is always going to be uh, important uh, in the playback because information changes. Like you get weird comments, and like, did you see the uh, date of these live streams? Look at that ramen shop over there. Like, I don't think, I don't think they change. B businesses don't really change that much. I like that. I wonder, like, I wonder about the history. That's a Chinese, Chinese ramen place. Which, which is ramen, it comes from China. But it looks like this building's kind of an outlier with all the new buildings around it. So I guess when the buildings have to be demolished, so, so the uh, places, look at, the, look at the phone booth. That's pretty cool too. Maybe I will go in there and have a bowl of ramen. I don't know, it's lunchtime. All right, everybody, thanks for, thanks for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow in a live stream and talk a little bit more about this. But hey, if we get the 155 to the dollar, watch the news tomorrow. You can, all you have to do to find the rate is go into Google and write USDJPY. I had to think about it for a while because I, I have it bookmarked. USD, US dollar, JPY, or whatever your currency is, and then write in JPY and Google it and it comes up on the top screen and bookmark it and you can always take a look and see what the exchange rates are. Uh, make sure you do that before you get on, on, the, on the plane and we'll talk about this a little bit more tomorrow. Matane. Or you can get a generator or an app, but I just use Google because it, they're tracking and all that other stuff. Keep it simple. Michael Sasano, aloha, I was just thinking about buying more yen and thought about desks at Haneda Airport uh, for a good place to exchange. I'm not sure if the at Honey Airport is the best place, but we'll talk about that tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. Snack time. Thank you, Michael. See everybody. Matane.